everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now in this video, I do want to go over a little bit of some B stuff, and uh, it's, uh, honestly, it's a little different than what I had thought of, and after doing a little bit of playing around with it, this is on my multiplayer server that I do play on, and if you guys want to be able to have access to this server that I play on and play with a few other people as well, then uh, I'll, uh, you know, send me a message and maybe we can get you guys playing on the server as well. But um, anyway, I, I had to kind of just modify and kind of change things around just a little bit from what I was seeing. So if you guys are honestly, if you guys are looking for, you know, uh, you know, honey or if you're looking for like honeycomb or if you're even looking at how to make like basically the bees, uh, the beehive here, uh, basically that's what we're going to be kind of covering in in today's episode. So yeah, this is my creation that I have on my multiplayer server. So let's just kind of go ahead and get on into the actual build itself. But before we actually do that, guys, if you could go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below, it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And also, don't forget to hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And a quick side note, we do play a lot of other games here on the channel, so definitely check those out as well. And I do have a website, which is GamerCorey.com. If you guys want to be able to send me, like, bloopers or anything cool that you think is awesome, you can send that to me over at my website, which is GamerCorey.com. And that link will be down in the description. So um, I really enjoy bees. Bees are uh, honestly they're kind of a pain, but uh, they're they're actually kind of rewarding in the same at the same time. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial because we got a couple different things that we need to go over right now. Well, welcome over to the redstone world where we're going to be building this project. We're going to be breaking this down into two parts. The first one that we're actually going to build is we're going to be building the collection of the honeycomb, which will allow you guys to actually be able to craft the, the beehive that you guys will need for, for later. Um, and then I'll be showing you guys later how to actually collect basically the honey itself. So it's actually in two different stages, two separate farms in one video. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we got in our, our hot bar here. We got the bees nest. This is what you're going to be collecting when you first do it. I do want to give you guys just some information, uh, especially when you guys have gone from like a 114 world to 115 and you've converted it. Um, you're going to probably have to go quite far and somewhere where you haven't necessarily explored. And bees will only be found in three biomes. They are found in the flower forest, the sunflower forest and also in the plains. I will let you know that in my survival or my multiplayer survival world, my SMP, um, that we, uh, I had to, I found all mine for whatever reason in flower forest. I don't know if it was just my luck or if they happen to spawn there more. It makes sense to me that they would, they would be there more just because they love flowers and it's the flower forest. So I, again, I don't know if that was just my luck or if it was, uh, just what just kind of happened. So, um, Anyway, so then once you craft up and get a few of these uh, bees nests going, you're going to get access to a beehive. Now, you're going to have to get the honeycomb, which is what we're going to be building first, so you guys know how to do that. And then you'll have access to the beehive, which, uh, for, honestly, for the most part, they are the same thing. They, there really is no difference between them, except for you can't craft the bees nests, but you can craft beehives. So... Um, these are basically the start, and then this would be everything going forward. And then once you make your big farm, just kind of keep rolling with it. We're gonna. I need the bee, the bee spawn egg just because we get, we got we're gonna spawn in some bees. There's there's no animals around here anywhere. Uh, we're gonna need some observers. We're gonna need an uh, dispenser, hoppers, something to see our bees. We're gonna need some redstone and also some shears. So that's gonna basically be cutting our. Uh, bees nest or beehive and that's going to give us our honeycomb that we are looking for uh, In this project, so let's go ahead and kind of get started with this build so um, You can use either one of these it does not matter Obviously, we're gonna do it from the start so you guys kind of know how to do um, Now what you want to do is you want to place down a maximum of eight of them um, Eight of them is the max that you're gonna want to put down uh, Obviously when you start you're only gonna have a couple and then you're gonna slowly build your farm over time uh, so that's all I would recommend. On the back of these, you're going to be putting a an observer facing into that block, so on the back of it. And then on top of these observers, you're actually going to go up like so. So that's that's pretty expensive. I mean, you're looking at 16 pieces of quartz just right there. So it's definitely a trip to 
the nether um and obviously you're looking at 16 observers in general so that is that is very very expensive um in my opinion now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to play a block like so here so that way you can put your dispenser facing down you're gonna have the dis dispenser facing down into that block now there's one of two different ways you guys can do this you can do this on each of the angles make sure that you're holding shift going down or you could uh, put a block uh, like a temporary block above it and then just make it easier and then you can just click on the one that's above it it's kind of up to you whatever works well for you guys and whatever you guys have access to all right so that honestly for the most part is the build that you guys really need now we will need one other thing i'm just going to go ahead and just use stone for the time being um and that's going to go on top of your observer and i'm going to kind of tell you what's going on here in just a moment and then on in front of the stone you're going to go ahead and put your redstone now i have seen some tutorials where they say put in um basically like the golden rails to uh cut down on leg and to be completely honest i've tested both and i can't get the the rails to work the way that they're intended i don't know if it's necessarily the smp that i play on and if that's the issue but you guys could try either way um if you're plot if you're playing in a completely survival world it's obviously going to be a lot cheaper to just get a piece of redstone dust than versus making the rails but it's completely up to you um but that was just the luck that i had for it now in each of these dispensers you're going to want to go ahead and fill it up with uh with shears all right so now that you have all of your dispensers filled with shears um you don't necessarily need to have all the shears filled but it's going to last a lot longer um that way you don't really have to worry about anything in the future and then you don't have to really refill them every so often now this is where your glass is going to come in um you can kind of just put it wherever you want make sure that the front of the the beehive or the bees nest is facing towards you you guys can tell that it's one directional you can see that the front is actually different if you look at the bees uh, nest and also the beehive you want to make sure that that is facing forward i should have mentioned that a little bit sooner um so this is where we're going to kind of basically finish everything up now we will have to change this to to dirt there is going to be a little bit of a trick here that we're going to be going over so you're going to want to dig down just a little bit because we're going to be putting a couple different things in here in order to get this all complete all right so let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water and then let's go ahead and grab ourselves a, a hoe it does not matter which one we grab um and then let's go ahead and grab ourselves um some flowers that's pretty much the last thing that we that we should really need here so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right so we also need some dirt all right so what you're going to do is you're going to put all this dirt down like so and then any of these pieces out in front like with this one or this one you're going to want to go ahead and put your bucket of water it could be the front two if you want it to be symmetrical um, that way all of the, the water actually goes in and gets moist and then you're going to want to till all of this soil here on top of that soil you can actually go ahead and place down a, a, a one flower um, let's we can do like say a poppy that'll work just fine a sunflower is too high so let's go ahead and do that on each of those like so perfect now what we need to do is we actually need to go down below where we had dug down and this is where our hopper system is actually going to go and then we need to till the soil so that the hoppers can actually go ahead and pick it up now if you don't want to use hoppers you could use a hopper minecart if you're going to make like a huge system of this and send it back and forth um, otherwise hoppers will just work just fine um, i am crafting a a store for my smp using this and i only have four farms two of the honeycomb and two of the honey itself and i i'm getting really good rates on them um, and that's even in the overworld so just kind of throwing that out there so you guys know about it and then on the top we're also going to want to go ahead and put some some hoppers as well now we can go ahead and let our bees loose and now they can actually start doing their thing so what they're going to do now is they are going to spend about 20 to 30 seconds basically going on top of those uh 
on those flowers there. And what's going to happen is then they're going to go inside of their bee's nest or their beehive and spend the next uh, up to two minutes start basically producing that honey for you. Oh, that sweet, sweet honey. All right, let's go ahead and put ourselves a chest down. Make sure that we're actually grabbing a chest since it is Christmas and can't really see which ones are which. And that would be our base where that's going to be at ending up. Now you could actually have this go into your sorting system or really whatever you guys want it to do. And unfortunately now we can't really see what honey level it is from here. Now the reason that's really nice about the hoppers of placing them on the top is you could stack these on top of each other and then these systems could uh, honestly work together in order to really produce a really big system if you really wanted to. Otherwise, um, what's, really, what's really nice now that they all went in there is you can actually open these and that way you can actually breed them because you have access to you can actually the hoppers are a lot lower where if this is a full block was a full block you wouldn't be able to access the bees at all that's why i put hoppers now it's an expensive option um the only way that you could really get around this is if you're going to be building like a separate breeding chamber for the bees and that way um, you bring them over here at some point now it's going to be a little bit harder you could bring them over here at night or whatever however you're going to work with it is going to be perfectly fine now what we can actually do is if we look at it and actually push f3 uh, we can see that the uh, well the b is actually in the way and i can't tell which one it actually was oh there's one right there that was at level three which is that one right in front of us perfect so we actually are almost getting our first set of of honey comb and i can't it's hard to tell which ones they actually go into but eventually we're going to get some honeycomb down in that one so we're just going to let this thing work for just a little bit and we'll come right back all right so now we're going to let those bees do their thing they are working very very hard over there uh i do want to point out just one thing i recommend that you guys only put uh basically up to 24 bees in here that would be three bees per hive or per bees nest just because that is one of the most efficient uh, numbers for you guys so if you have a little bit less it's fine i won't really recommend doing anything more than that it starts getting a little bit too crowded in there and they can't really do what they need to do um but you'll start to notice that when you do get that up to that 24 bees in these areas that uh, you'll start getting that some that will be outside and then some that will be inside and they'll keep working back and forth, which uh, is what exactly what you want to have happen. So while they're doing their thing, we're going to go ahead and build the honey collection because now that is our honeycomb and we can either use the honeycomb to get, uh, you know, the honeycomb blocks or we could use it to actually create the beehive that we're going to be using in this next portion of the build so we're just going to go ahead and uh, turn around here and we'll basically do the same i'm on a number here and we're going to do eight just like uh, we did on the other side over there so we're almost mirroring that copy or that that build over there exactly the other thing that we're going to want to do is these will eventually be dirt because we're going to be doing the same thing on this side as that side with the collection of the hoppers under underneath but we're going to get to that in just a moment uh, the same thing applies that you actually will need a a dispenser facing downward into this uh, into these uh, bees nests or these hoppers or these uh, yeah beehives sorry and we're gonna do all that just like so so we can actually now get rid of all of that stone behind it so uh, in order to build the honey factory we need to put a stone behind each of the beehives or bees nest depending on what you guys have and then what we need to do is put comparators behind each of these make sure that they are not in subtract mode and that's exactly what you should have so far so at this point you can either use glass or you could use slabs to do what you need to do uh, glass is nice just because um, you don't have to worry about messing around with the slabs if you don't want to but uh that's all we need to do. And we're just going to go ahead and put another layer of glass right on top of that redstone. So that's kind of what it should look like here. So it's redstone dust, glass, redstone dust on top of it. And then we're going to have two rows of glass like so. And then we're going to have all of this have redstone dust on top of it as well. All right. And then you can either do glass or you can do stone here or whatever other building blocks that you really want. The only one that really matters that needs to either be slab or glass is this one right here. So if you don't want this to necessarily be um, glass, what you do is you'd be putting a slab on there that looks something like this. 
and then that could be stone as well. So it's up to you how you guys want to build it. Either way works just fine. All right, so our next phase, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our dirt. So we're actually just going to dig this down three, and then we're going to put our dirt on the top here. All right, so once you get your dirt in, you're going to want to go ahead and get your water source in here, and then you can actually hoe all of this out here, so that way you get the soil nice and tilled. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in our hopper line, so we need to actually grab some some hoppers again here and then what we can need to do is just replace that first one with a chest or have it sent into whatever sorting system that you guys are going to be working with going forward and then what we need to do is we need to surround this with glass one more time so we're going to do that around the entire front we also need to make sure that we put poppies on our soil so that the bees will have something to uh to basically produce their wonderful honey that we're going to be able to get honey blocks with and then the other thing that we need to make sure that we do is we also need more more hoppers here, which I should have kept those out instead of replacing it with the chest, but that's fine. And it doesn't really matter which way your hoppers are really facing. They can go light, right to left. I mean, they could even face towards you if you really want them to, or you could face them into the dispensers. It's really up to you. You could actually do that and then put a chest on top of them if you want to be able to refill the item that's in there. So if you wanted to put like a chest full of, of shears in here, so when one runs out, it would fill into it. You can really do it however you guys really want it to. So it, there's lots of different ways and reasons why you'd actually want to have the hoppers here, but it's completely up to you how you guys want it to be designed. And if you guys are wondering what I mean by that, you just have a hopper here uh, facing into this like so, and then you just have a chest on top of it. And... Let's go ahead and do that real quick here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then in this case, we're going to be using bottles. So we need um, some bottles here. And then what you can do is you can actually just go ahead and put your chest down here like so. And then you'd fill this all in with, with your bottles. And then it would slowly start to drain into that. So it's kind of up to you how you want it to look. All right, so I filled the glass bottles into each of these dispensers because you're going to be using glass bottles on this one to collect the honey. Now, just keep in mind that when you guys do collect honey, you're only going to get stacks of 16 and not stacks of 64, even though you, when you put the glass bottles in here, they will um, sh they will actually come out as 16 and you're throwing in 64. The other thing that I want to let you guys know of, if you guys leave an open spot in any of your dispensers like this, the honey will actually be pushed up to the top instead of down below through the dispensers. This top portion has to be completely filled up in order for this to be be to work properly. Now you could, you know, if you only have say, you know, access to a few glass bottles, you could do 16 in each slot and that would still technically be filled up, but just keep in mind that you do want all nine of those spots completely filled up. Not with a stack of 64, but they do need to be filled up with something so that it, the honey doesn't get shot up to the top. Uh, my first time that I ever was building this, I was wondering what was happening, and that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, you don't have to worry about that necessarily with the honeycomb. Um, I wasn't really having that much of an effect on it. Um, the other thing that I want you guys to be aware of is with the hoppers up here, if you don't have anything on the top of them, there are times where... Um, honeycomb or honey bottles might actually get into these this hopper line here when it gets cut. So let's just go ahead and check to see how much honeycomb we actually already got. So from this system right here, we already have 24 pieces of honeycomb. Um, in order to actually build a honeycomb block here, um, this is actually only four pieces of, of the honeycomb. And then to make honey blocks, you actually only need four of the bottles, and you actually get the bottles back. So you can actually reuse them whenever you need them. So it's not like you're losing the bottles once they put honey into them. And then the nice thing about this system over here is you can actually tell exactly where your honey levels are at. See, with this honey level is actually already at level four. So in one more, we'll actually get a honey, a honey bottle. So that was pretty quick. And once we actually get a couple, then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I've been letting this farm kind of run for about five minutes or so. So let's go ahead and check what we actually have for our honey bottles. All right, we got 13 honey bottles already. So um, looks like we got a couple that are getting closer to. We got, a, looks like a stage four there. Only a couple of them that actually have any honey. Looks like they're uh, using the N1, so they must have just finished up here um, with a couple of those. And then over here, I actually 
did stack these so you guys can kind of see what these look like. Um, and uh, so you guys kind of know that they are completely stackable. And the hoppers that were basically the top hoppers where the bees are at is actually the bottom hoppers um, of where the t uh, tilled soil is actually at. Now, the only bad thing about a design like this, and I'll let you guys know, is that you're still going to want to be able to access your dispensers. So this design might not necessarily be the best in order to refill your shears. Now, just keep in mind that your shears won't run out for a while. Especially if you add like unbreaking three into them. And honestly, if you do fill it up completely with nine shears, you should be fine for a long, long time. Um, I've been running mine for like three days in my SMP server, and none of mine are even close to getting destroyed from the shears. So, uh, from producing the honeycomb but it's up to you what you guys want to be able to access and how you guys really want these farms to be designed i chose to put them side by side because i figured for what i was going to be using them for that would be uh easier um and then that way i didn't necessarily have to worry about the dispensers at all but anyway that is everything uh for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it or found it helpful in any way i'm really loving the new update for the bees um and honestly my little farms, I only have two of each of these. Each each farm only has a 16. So basically what you see behind me is all I have as far as the honeycomb. And then I have two of the honey bottles as well. And it's producing more than I could possibly even want. Now, if you guys want to have the best possible rates ever, you're going to want to put this um, in the like end dimension where you don't have to necessarily worry about the nighttime because bees won't produce at night or if it is raining. So just kind of take keep that in mind. The other thing that you could do is if you want to put this in like say um, a savanna where it doesn't rain at all, that might be the best option if you're going to be putting in it in the overworld, but you still do have to worry about the nighttime cycles if you're, especially if you're going AFK. So, you know, half of the time that you're going AFK might not uh, be producing any type of honey, but if you are in the nether, then you are not the nether, but if you're in the overworld or a uh, the end then you don't have to really worry about that but if you guys uh, did enjoy the video in any way then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming <laughs>